Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share my entire kitchen organization with you. By the way, this apartment belongs to us, so this is not a rented apartment. All the organization tips I will share along with the organizers I have used, you can use same as it is in your rented apartment as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is a U-shaped kitchen without any utility attached to it. At the time of handover, we received 4 empty walls without countertop and sink. Me and Prasim designed this all from scratch and got it executed by a local carpenter. Starting from the right hand side, top left section we have used for storing most of our breakfast essentials. Here all our glass containers and I bought these from Amazon. All the product links are in the description box and I had also tried to add most of the items in my store front so it will be easier for you. Here mostly you will find healthy options only. Last container we have not marked because we keep changing the item in it. Currently it has muesli. In the bottom we have tea and sugar. White color containers are from home center and maroon one are from cello. These are stackable, have better glass and lid quality. This is green tea detox kava. It's soothing sore throat and I also like its taste. My mom recommended this to me and she got its recommendation through my mommy. This one has women health tea which I occasionally consume. Next top lift section is dedicated to pulses and spices. In the top have used airtight plastic containers from Tupperware and Signoware. Except for the last two containers where I have stored spices, rest of the containers have pulses and in one container I have stored basin. Here bottom section is completely dedicated to spices. Here I have used a three tier spice organizer for better visibility. Containers in the first row are from Amazon, in second row are from Ikea and in third one are from Amazon. In the left side, I mostly stored whole spices and few powdered ones. In the back section, I stored whole dhania and lal mirch. Whole dhania got finished while shooting the video, so it, therefore the container is empty. I usually make fresh powder of both of them and store in the front containers. All four containers are from Dmart. Stackable glass containers with maroon lid are from Salo. I bought these from Amazon. And the pepper mill is from Ikea, which is of very, very good quality. Below both the cupboards, we have a platform which acts as a cooking station. Here, we we have kept our mixer grinder which I had already reviewed, used a plastic folding rack for better space management. Below that have used an organizer in which I have kept mortar and pestle from IKEA. On the top of the rack have kept a spice container, one steel container with dry flour for making rotis, heing, ghee and the blue basket contains oil dispenser and a glass container which has salt. In the yellow ceramic cutlery holder have kept a kitchen scissor, knife, peeler and other utility items. To the right side of of cooktop, I have kept a pail and chakla holder which I bought from Amazon and I am completely satisfied with it. It can comfortably hold my heavy cast iron dosa pan and roti iron tawa I usually keep in steel dish trainer and next to it is our induction. Now let's move to the bottom most section. Here we have all our tandem drawers. First one has cutlery tray. Here we store cooking serving and normal spoons. Other items like strainer, grater, whisker, frother, pizza cutter, lemon squeezer, silicon brush and a silicon hand handle cover for my cast iron pans. In the next one, we have normal katoris and plates. In the bottom section, have kept steel thalis for lunch and dinner. In the adjacent section on the top, have stored kitchen essentials and used a basket so that small things don't scatter around. In the bottom section, have stored cookwares and pans. Moving towards the last drawer, have stored steel glasses on the top and in the bottom section, have stored commonly used medicines, mostly Ayurvedic and some plant-based supplements. Now we will look into the opposite section. Starting with the tall unit, it acts as a pantry and a space for storing extra groceries. In the first shelf, I have kept a marker and a duster to note important items. In both the blue baskets bottom and top section, I have stored extra pulses, grains and breakfast needs. I have used these type of clippers in order to make the packets airtight. Here I even stored the items for which I have not assigned the containers. In the orange basket, I have stored all the extra spices. To utilizer space have used under shelf basket. So here I have stored extra tea, coffee, matchboxes and have stored all the small packets in this organizer. Here I have kept a roll of paper towel and in the orange basket have stored pasta noodles and some snacks. On the topmost section have stored extra paper towel, tissue paper, 
and some puja needs. I've added these whiteboard stickers for meal planning, grocery list, and weekly chores. On the top of next shelf, I've kept one real and artificial plant. In this, I mostly store miscellaneous items and snacks. Here again, I have used two tier shelf organizer. I've kept some cocoa powder, ragya tea, some seeds, chagri powder, cones for popcorns, and tea bags. In the right section, have stored snacks in these airtight containers. I've kept makhanas, puffed rice, biscuits. Again, I have used these anti-skid liners everywhere. In the bottom I have kept chili flakes, oregano, indori poha masala, salt powder. In the back side I have kept honey, some seeds, mango and lemon pickle. Here a few items are from local store and few from Amazon. In the right section again all our evening snacks items. In the first container we have stored this poha chivra made by me. Under the shelf I have used this basket which acts as a fruit basket. In the next shelf we have stored all our glasses and ceramics. Smaller glasses are from the brand ocean and the bigger one are from ikea below i have used these white color organizers in order to maximize the space and got these from amazon this entire dinner set i had already showed you in one of our ikea haul here these small trays are from home center mug set is from dmart here I have kept an extra fork and spoon set and few steel straws which I got from Amazon. These bone china mug set was given by my sister. She bought from Indore. In the next shelf, we have fixed this steel dish trainer which comes with a plastic tray in the bottom to collect the water. You can get similar one which you can keep on countertop from Amazon. These are very helpful for drying up your glasses, ceramics, even your chopper and their blades, mixer grinder jars after wash. Having a separate training space protects these from getting damaged or from any mishap this space is just above our sink area in the next section we have our water purifier we will come down and see the countertop organization have kept an air fryer which i had already reviewed on this channel beside that have kept a lid and chopping board organizer which i bought from ikea but i mostly use it for storing my small cast iron pans which i use frequently below these i have used my old place mats near the sink area we have used adhesive wall mounted organizer i I already have a dedicated video on this channel related to these types of organizers. These are perfect for your rental as well as own apartment. Here have placed a steel dish trainer for drying daily use utensils. In normal days, we keep a rectangular tub to the left of sink in order to store soiled utensils and we keep the leftover food into the small container which helps to maintain this area clean and smell free. In the first drawer of the bottom section, we store clippers, different type of ziplock bags, a fresh roll of garbage bag, kitchen utensils utility clothes and food wrapping paper. In the bottom have stored different types of oils and extra puffed rice and makhanas. In the steel containers we have wheat and multigrain flour. In the plastic container we have rice and papar. Next is a tandem drawer which has all the mixer grinder jars. In the bottom have kept ragi and corn flour, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, extra ghee. The stall plastic container I specifically bought for noodles from IKEA. Temporarily I stored potato chips and they caught bugs so these containers are not not 100% airtight. For your information, I have just discarded all these after the shoot. In the next section, I have stored all my glass fridge containers and steel travel containers and this clay sprout maker is my recent purchase from Amazon. In the bottom, I have placed this organizer, specifically bought for storing my cast iron pans. Apart from cast iron, I have also placed my non-stick pan, few thalis, katoris, small chopping board and a sandwich maker. On the gate, I have hand destroying mats. In the next top shelf, I have stored few extra containers, few strainers and a silicon funnel for refilling oil dispenser. In the below section, I have stored small kitchen appliances like soup maker, chopper, different types of bottles and flask. In the bottom, I have kept prestige multi-cooker, yogurt maker and other kitchen utility items. To maximize the space, I have used this over-the-door hanger which I got from Amazon and placed these bins from IKEA and then I'm able to place my silicon gloves and mold. I have stored ice cream scoop, normal scoop, measuring spoons, wooden spoons. I even store some small kitchen knickknacks into this. Next is under the sink area where I have stored all my cleaning essentials along with the flat mop. We have reached to the last countertop and we use this mostly as a food prep station. We have applied a PVC wallpaper on this countertop just for experimental basis and have kept one steel water dispenser. 
In the bottom, we have two corner storage sections. In the left, we have kept one cylinder and other occasionally used items. I have used this basket from IKEA to organize things properly. In the middle, have used over the door hanger to hang kitchen towel. Inside, have kept a dough needle which I will review soon. And in the bottom, have kept a multi kadai. In another corner, have placed our atta chakki which I recently reviewed, a plastic dabba, and a gas cylinder which is connected to our cooktop. In the last, there is one more side of the kitchen which is this wall. I have placed this IKEA wall art which comes in set of two. Other one fell down and broke because it was not sticked properly. Hanged a money plant and placed the dustbin on the floor. It's a good quality dustbin by Neil Kamal we bought from Amazon. Perfect for a small kitchen as it takes lesser space. Can store both wet and dry waste and easy to clean. In this, have inserted small size biodegradable garbage bags. These also we mostly order from Amazon. So this is it for this video and I have tried to provide maximum of the product links in the description box so you can check that out. And also I have updated the product in my storefront. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the content, you can give thumbs up to the this video you can give your valuable feedback suggestions in the comment section i will be very much happy to read that subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get all the future notifications and updates meanwhile you can also check out my other content i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye and take care